Well, good morning all. Welcome to another new week. I'm feeling a bit better, so thank you for all those people that were asking. I've still got a little bit of a, a snuffly nose, but most of it's gone. Still having a little bit of problems getting to sleep, but other than that, I'm pretty good. So this week, we've got a few things we've got to get right before the auto electrician comes out next week. So I've got to make a platform under my bed where all the solar equipment's going to go. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. That's the first job of the week. So I'll spin you around and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so this is under my bed and we're going to have a battery here. Oh, sorry. One of the 48 volt batteries here and here. And then next to it is going to be the 12 volt battery. Then we're going to have the, the inverter in here and then all the other components along here and the solar will come down through the cupboard down through here and then through here so what I'm doing is I'm making up another frame so I can stick a piece of plywood on which will be able to take the weight of the plywood for the parts so at the moment I've got it sitting in here as such. So if I can get it to sit there while I can talk, which it's not going to. So I've got another piece coming across to this piece here. And then there'll be a T section here, which will go across to this wall and the same on this side. And then at the end of this one, it'll come across so I can screw into the sides of this. So if you want to see how I make these framing, if you go to the, the video for the bed, you'll see how I've made the frame. It's exactly the same way. I'll link it in the description below and I'll, if I remember, I'll put it up on the screen as well, what episode it was, and you can have a look at that. So. Alright guys, I've now made the framing that the plywood board's going to sit on, on either side, and where all the components for the solar system are going to sit. So this side is going to be the inverter, and this side all the other components. So now that I've made sure they fit, I'm going to take them out. Put the board on it and flip it over and trace it so I've got the right size board and then I can fix these in position <coughs> and then I'm right for the auto electrician to come out and start working on putting the the parts on the board I might even start doing that myself all right guys I've got my two framing pieces and I've put them onto the plywood and I've marked them out, placed around them so I know this is going to be the right size for the board I'm going to cut just inside the line or maybe right on top of the line that way I know it'll fit perfectly inside that framing one section I'm using 12mm and the other section I'm using 15mm plywood because they scrap bits that I've got and I don't want to have to go and pay for more this will have the lighter stuff on it and the 15 mil will have the inverter on it the heavier stuff will be on the 15 mil so now I'm going to cut it with the table saw and get it all sorted I've cut out both the top sections of them now so they're all nice and prepared so what I can do now is I can go and screw these in onto the framework in here and I know these are going to fit perfectly when we put them in. Alright guys, I've uh, got the framing done for where the solar panel 
cupboard, well, cupboard, flooring, whatever you want to call it, will be sitting. One will go here, one will go here. I had to take the the gas strut off because I couldn't get the this board in and out once I put the frame in, so I had to take that off. And I'll put that back in once we've got the board down with all the components on it. So now I'm just uh, painting the two boards and getting them right. And I'll put them back in just to make sure everything's fitting. I'll get the inverter out and make sure it's all good. It should be fine. I measured it before so it should fit there, no problem. And then I can get the other parts out and start having a look at that and see how we go. Ready for the auto electrician. Alright guys, you can see now that I've painted up the base for the all the solar panel component or solar components. Um, I've just got to screw that down but I'm not going to do that till the auto electrician comes out and put everything together and then we can screw it down so it doesn't move. If you're liking our videos don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our videos and for this week that's us done as always we hope that your build's going well and if you have any comments please don't forget to leave them down below and i'll get back to you all right guys have a good week see ya